Microsoft Enterprise Desktop Virtualization, or MedV, is a core component of the Microsoft Desktop Optimization Pack for Software Assurance, or MDOP. MedV enables deployment and management of Microsoft Virtual PC Windows desktops to enterprise environments. Primarily, MedV helps enterprises upgrade to the latest version of Windows even when some of the applications are not yet functional or supported. MedV builds on top of Virtual PC to run two operating systems on one device, adding virtual image delivery, policy-based provisioning, and centralized management. On this Windows-based environment, we actually have a running MedV workspace. And if we look at a MedV workspace, what we'll notice is there's nothing that the user is going to see by default that tells them that there is a workspace that is running. The reason behind that is that MedV can actually make the environment seamless to the user, and that's called seamless integration of the UI. What we will see is that through the policies, we've actually published some MedV applications. So right within their own start menu, a user would be able to go in and see what applications have been published for them. We're going to go ahead and open up Word 2003. So looking at Word 2003, we'll notice one key change, which is a default option that can be changed in MedV policies, is we actually put a border around the application that is red. And that's just to denote that this is actually running in a virtual PC environment managed by MedV. Printing in a MedV-based application is no different than a normal application. We'll use the print dialog, we'll select a local printer, and we'll be able to print. I'm going to open up an application that is local to this operating system. In other words, it's not running in the MedV workspace. And one thing we'll notice is we don't lose functionality like Alt-Tab. So Alt-Tab will actually function as it did before, and we can switch easily between applications. One important feature is web redirection. If I open up Internet Explorer, go to Microsoft's website, we'll see it opens in the host base browser. But web redirection allows me to specify certain websites in this case medvdemo.com, that's actually going to be redirected to the MedV image browser, which in our case is Internet Explorer 6. This allows us to control which websites go to which browser, host or the actual workspace. This should really help out in environments where we have applications, web applications that are only available under Internet Explorer 6. Now one new feature that's been advertised a lot with Windows 7 is the capability of having what's called XP mode. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, XP mode and MedV are the same thing. The user experience is very similar to MedV. You can actually make it where it publishes the applications. There's a few less options in the publishing. But if we look at it, it looks very similar. Applications from the virtual machine are readily available in the Windows 7 start menu. And once launched, they are seamlessly integrated into the desktop. Windows XP mode is designed, though, for a single user or a very small business where it's OK to configure each machine separately. When IT needs to deploy, incompatible applications in scale, they need a way to deliver those virtual machines, configure and control, and finally support them. And that's what MedV is really doing. Now we'll see how to take a virtual PC image and configure it through MedV. At that point in time, we'll bring it into the local test repository. And we'll go ahead and browse to that and then type in an image name. After we're done with that, we'll pack the image, which is going to encrypt and also compress the image to make it smaller on the network. And finally, we'll upload it to the distribution server. And this will make it available to uh, users. After creating the image, we're going to go ahead and look at the policies. And we're going to go ahead and use a couple of applications and also a published menu to make available as published applications in our MedV workspace. The next piece is looking at web redirection and the web browsing function. This gives us the capability of having certain websites browsed by the workspace Internet Explorer, in our case, Internet Explorer 6. So if we actually go ahead and put in medvdemo.com, that will let us do that. The next one we want to look at is the VM setup. And this actually allows me to control the first time that a MedV image is delivered to a machine that it will do some tasks. We're going to add in rename computer and restart Windows. This will ensure that each one has a unique name. The way that unique name is created is by the VM computer name pattern. Finally, the network tab allows us to actually control how we're going to get networking to the actual settings. So changing what the IP address is uh, or actually possibly the DNS settings. Thank you for watching this quick demonstration of MedV.